we're back it's Ellie diecast and in this video we've got the weirdies these are the the cars that have shown up lately that uh, either I don't know what they are or uh, just don't have a home <laughs> uh, to start with though these are not the weirdies right here the I got three challenge cars and I don't know if everybody knows what a challenge car is matchbox put these 75 challenge cars out uh, in 1997 they were all gold or at least the bodies were gold. Uh, I think all of them had the, the old super fast type wheels on them. And there were 75 of them. And the reason there's 75 of them is for a whole nother video. That would take a little bit longer to explain. But in quick terms is there was 75 original Matchbox models. All the other cars kind of branched off of those 75. So they didn't use the original 75 models. It's just the 75 kind of families um, of models. Anyways, I'll explain that in another video. But here's a challenge car. Uh, I've been trying to get these over the years. I have about half of them. Anyways, that's the Volvo container truck. We've got the garbage truck in gold with the white back. By the way, I should mention one of 10,000. That does not sound like they are rare to me. I mean, for instance, M2 makes their trucks at one in 5,000, and they don't seem to sell that fast. So <laughs> one in 10,000 isn't all that rare, I don't think. Uh, but here's the uh, 62 Corvette, number 32. So we got a few of those. I was excited to get those. And um, next up, let's take a look here what we've got. I'll kind of give you a second when I put these down here for the old timers to see if you know what they are. So does anybody know what those are? Not Matchbox, not Hot Wheels. At least not labeled that on the bottom. These are by, one more clue, they're by Strotman, which may not show up here. Can you see that? It says Strotman. I think it says Strotman International. There you go, Strotman. Made in China. Uh, these are, these are, Taco Bell cars. Yep. So kind of like McDonald's cars, but Taco Bell cars. <laughs> um, they were called Racing Rockets. They came in little cards, like uh, regular Hot Wheels. Not not like in a baggie or anything, but on regular little cards. 2002-2003 uh, for those two guys. Next up. This one. See if anybody knows what that guy is. This one's kind of oversized here. I'll, let me, uh, here's, here's a regular Hot Wheels car. So you can kind of get a clue of the size on it. Anybody know what that is? That one is made by High Speed. I don't know if it's on the bottom or not. Yeah, it is. It's down there at the bottom. It's very, very small, but it says high speed on it. Uh, this is a 39 Ward La France, I think. And it says, oh, that's interesting. It says it's... Yeah, I can't read it. But um, it's a metal parts on the top this is plastic the back is plastic this is metal metal plastic base rubber tires it's got the little dualies back there so yeah this one showed up in a lot don't know much about these cars that's the first one i've ever seen uh next up this one's obviously a giants new york giants Anybody know the story of that one? Most of most of the hardcore collectors will have seen these come through. Um, this is a White Rose collectible. And White Rose is most probably commonly associated with the old Matchbox cars. But um, White Rose is kind of like a, a, oh, a manufacturer. They'll kind of make anything that you might want them to make. But um, there were a few series of these. All the NFL teams were in these. This is a PT Cruiser. And I, as far as I know, they were always PT Cruisers. I don't really know why. If this was on its card, it'd be from 2001. And it would have Ron Dane on the card. What was his nickname? Run, Rumbling Ron Dane or Dancing Ron Dane? Something like that. But New York Giants. Uh, next up. 
Anybody know what this one is? This one's been sitting on my shelf for a while because I could not figure out what to call it to look it up. <laughs> this one, give you a clue. It's got a screen on the bottom. It's got a little computer inside, at least according to the packaging. I doubt it. It's probably got a computer chip inside. Uh, it's a Cyber Racer. There were four different ones of these. If you're trying to figure out what car that is, this one was called the 70s Muscle Car. So it's, a, it's all cars jammed together. <laughs> it's got 455 written on the back. It's got its little racing stickers on the front. It's got its, its stripe. It's got the big tire in the back, small tire in the front. It's got pipes coming back here. It's a little bit of every car, <laughs> 70s Muscle Car. Um, yeah, these would go on the track and uh, like break down or need a pit stop basically. And then you'd flip them over and you'd hit these little buttons and it was like a Tamagotchi. <laughs> so it's like a pocket pet, Hot Wheels. <laughs> um, it, it, this one does not work by the way. And I thought about putting a new battery in it, but it's got the little triangle, um, bolt and I was just going to trash the bolts getting it out of there. And the truth is, I'm not sure I really need it working. <laughs> Anyways, Cyber Racer. If you really want one, you can get one on eBay. Um, next, we got this little American Airlines car. I couldn't find much about this, except I don't think they were particularly rare. I think they were sold as an American Airlines set. And there was three or four little cars in the set. And I think an airplane. And... Um, not sure who it's made by doesn't say anything on the bottom nothing so although it does when i get them out here in the light sometimes i see things i don't see before it says china right there but yeah a little american airlines car kind of fun last but not least is this guy and i don't know what he is <laughs> i get a lot of these um this one's one of the better looking ones but they have these metal bases on them like this. It, all they say is made in China on the bottom. And I see a lot of these come through with, uh, with certain lots. I'm assuming they're like an Adventure Wheels or a Maisto type car um, that parents just buy their kids when they are looking for something cheaper than Hot Wheels. This one's kind of neat. It's got the Safari logo. I thought these were animals. Because, uh, see that one there? That looks like a monkey. Yeah, it looks like a monkey right there. Don't tell me that doesn't look like a monkey. And that's a Stegosaurus, and that's a Plesiosaur, and that's a Blob. I don't know what those are. <laughs> it's kind of interesting that if you're a safari truck, but your Tampos look like you just hit a giraffe at high speed. So, <laughs> I'm not sure what those Tampos were supposed to be. But I'm keeping that one. That one goes in the collection. Um, that's it for now. So if you have not already visited our Facebook page, then shame on you because we do all sorts of fun things on the Facebook page too. This is just part of what I do. I spend the rest of my days on the Facebook page posting stuff. Some of it never makes it into the videos. Also, if you haven't visited us at Ellie Customs on Facebook, um, our Ellie Customs page sells masks and stencils and, and all sorts of stuff and we have little tutorials there to teach you how to do things um yeah our ellie diecast and ellie customs page on facebook get quite a bit of attention um also you can follow us on twitter if you want i don't use twitter too much but some people love twitter because it'll tell you when the videos are out the videos are tied to twitter and they immediately send out a tweet um when we are done and also you have a pin interest page if you're interested if you're pin interested in that go to pin interest and you'll see things and i tend to post the uh, newest mass stencils and artwork there that uh, has to do with the customs that we make so we have all sorts of things going on you don't just have to watch the videos uh so that's going to be it for this week i will see you in the next video Bye.